Hello everyone, let's learn Scratch. Scratch is a software which helps us to understand and create many games and it helps to make the young students learn game creation with an easy and there are many versions of a Scratch and in this video we will work on the latest version of a Scratch which is 3.0. Our uses of a Scratch is uh, in the Scratch there are colorful objects to make in programs, creations, fun and easy with the help of a different different kinds of events, motion and looks and we can create animation, quiz and a story and share your scratch product online and uh, also the website also has an option to the three projects created by the other users in the scratch and you can even make changes to the projects created by the others now let's learn scratch how to open a scratch steps to start a scratch just click on the start button and go to a window button and click on the scratch talk desktop to open and scratch program and you can also open the scratch with this link now let's learn component of a scratch desktop so first is a title bar and a, this is a title bar so let's a uh, title bar is a at the top of the scratch window and it shows scratch desktops right on the left the right side of the toolbar has a three command or a control button which is these a minimize maximize or a close button now next we move on to menu bar menu bar it contain option that and command related to the project that you create in a scratch and these options are file edit or a total or a name of the scratch projects and you can also open a new uh, project with the help of a file tab or if you wanted to edit your document so you just go with the edit tab and now next is a stage area so this is our stage area stage area it is a similar to a stage in a place where uh, everything take place you can watch story play games and run your scratch project on the stage and in a scratch the backdrop the background is a called a backdrop you can also say a background is a as a backdrop now next we move on to sprite so this is our sprite this is the area it is the actor who act on a stage and sprite is an object in a scratch that perform the function on a stage area this is the area we can uh, write our code here and the default sprite as in scratch is an orange cat this is our orange cat and this is a default sprite now next is a go to button so first is a, a go to button this is our go to button this uh, green flag is called a go to button and uh, when you click on it it's run a scratch project uh, whenever you click on that your project will be run and then now next is a stop button this is called a this red button is called a stop button it a uh, red button which if you wanted to stop your running proje uh, project so just click on that now next is a sprite info pane so this is our sprite info pane and it is just below the stage area this is our stage area and sprite, uh, sprite info pane just below it this and it shows all the details of a sprite and a backdrop used in a project this is the uh, sprite info and all the uh, details of our sprite or a backdrop shows here like if you wanted to show your program or what is the height or what is a width or uh, what a, a sprite would you use to and so you can add delete see the name of the location you can also add you can also add a sprite you with this uh, sprite option you can also add a background and name the location increase and decrease the size of a sprite or you can also uh, decrease the size of your uh, sprite and also you can do the uh, increase the size of your sprite and you can add uh, also a uh, similar you can add or changes the background same as you can also add uh, the backdrop of, of this uh, backdrop or uh, options and add a uh, different different kinds of background or a backdrop now next is a block menu so these are our block menus 
like a event motion sensing or operator these are the block menus it display the category of a block based on their function and uses so up in a simple word we can say hum log bol sakte hain ki aapke different different job logo ke blocks hote hain unke different different uh, functionalities hoti hain and these blocks uh, within the same category share the same color which allow better distinctions of the part of a program now next is a coding area so this is our coding area and it is also called a script uh, area where you can write your program or you can stack your blocks to create a script and if you save a project with the script uh, the script will also be saved uh, when we click on a script so all the blocks executed from the top of the bottom now uh, next is a our script this is script so this is your script this is script area and script is a collection of a number of stacked block if uh, give step wise instruction to the sprite to do a something on a stage and script is actually a program which give the instructions in the computer from a block and a script must have at least two blocks so now next is a backdrop this is backdrop a backdrop is a, a backdrop scratch has mainly three tabs which are described below like to a code tab a sound pen events and a custom tabs and a sound tabs this is our backdrops these are the code tab a sound custom tab and a sound tab now last is a tabs these are the called is a tabs which we, we already discussed a code tab is this a code tab it contain a block category and the list of a blocks in a category like some of a blocks are category in a motion block or a sound pane or a pan events or a control or a sensing operators and in and of my blocks so all block category are of a different colors like a orange green blue yellow purple and each block perform a task in a projects the block connect to each other like a, a jigsaw puzzle and a create a script now next is a custom tabs so in this tabs you can add and make changes in the appearance of the sprite and a background now next is a sound tabs this is the sound tab and uh, with the help of in sound tab you can add and make changes in the sound of the sprite and a backdrop with the sound of sound tab helps you can add sound to your backdrop or to your sprite now let's learn blocks now there are 10 types of blocks available in a scratch 3.0 there are 10 types of blocks available in a scratch 3.0 blocks are coded are commands used to create a program in a scratch and it look like a puzzle piece and each block connect with the other block to perform a task if you wanted to uh, create any animation so just if you uh, connect to uh, every block to each other and some commonly used to block are motion uh, block log block and a event block now uh, first is a motion block this is our motion block they are blue in color and the motion block that are used to control the movement of a sprite are known as a motion block and they are in a blue color so uh, for an example the motion block is used used to a uh, move a sprite if you wanted to move your sprite here to here so in that case uh, we should use a move motion block now next is a look block the blocks that are used to add speech and thought bubble to a sprite are called a loop block if you wanted to add a sound in your in your voice in your project or if you wanted to add a uh, bubbles in your project so just in that case we used a loop block and they are in purple color now next is a our event block so uh, event block uh, this is a topmost block it helps to run the script on a stage as a control the starting of a script and it give you the control of all the blocks as without an event block no program will be done so to run the script script uh, you have to click on the go to button before the other block if you wanted to uh, perform any kind of uh, operator any kind of block so uh, firstly uh, will go with the click e block and now adding a sprite 
so first of all uh, whenever uh, adding a sprite so before we add a uh, script in a script sprite in a scratch project just uh, go with the how to open a scratch in your laptop so just uh, click click on the search tab and go with the find here a scratch and just open that and this is our scratch project so i already told you this is our title bar it's give you a title to your document and multiple options are there which is minimize close and uh, restore and there are the our three tabs code custom and a sound these are the block menus uh, this is our back, uh, backdrop this is our backdrop if you wanted to add or uh, any other backdrop so just uh, go with this or if you wanted to add others to the other sprite so just uh, go with this and this is our script and this is our stage area and this is our script area and this is called a sprite this cat is called a sprite now uh, let's learn adding a sprite so just uh, go with the add option this is our if you wanted to choose any other sprite so just uh, click on the choose a sprite tool in the sprite info pane and a choose sprite window opens so it shows the thumbnail of the available uh, sprites or uh, if you wanted to uh, find animals or a people different different kinds of categories are here or uh, i'll uh, so go with the i'll search a mouse so here is a mouse and just uh, simply click on that and mouse it is inserted on our sprite so click on the sprite to add in it your project and here we have add a mouse uh, notice that there are a number of two sprites number one and number two there here are a number two sprites in the sprite info pane see this is our sprite info pane and number one and number two sprite is here or if you wanted to change the backdrop so uh, if you wanted to change the backdrop just uh, click on the choose a backdrop info pane and here are the uh, sprite info pane will be appear and a choose a backdrop window open it shows the thumbnail of the variable drop, uh, backdrop there are different different kinds of background or you can also search uh, your back, uh, backdrop or a background here so i am just uh, select bedroom one so just click on that and our uh, backdrop will be inserted into our sprite so see this is our backdrop this is our backdrop or our background and this is our cat or a mouse is our sprite so here we have added a form background or a backdrop notice that uh, that the thumbnail of a backdrop appear in the sprite of info pane so see here are our uh, sprite backdrop or aap log notice kar already notice you that uh, if you uh, when you see, click on that so it will automatically uh, affected uh, represent on the sprite now let's learn creating a new project see uh, let's learn a uh, creating a new project uh, first of all see follow the given steps to create a new project just uh, if you wanted to uh, create a new project so here are some steps to perform that just click on the file tab and a drop down menu appears select a new and a new project will be open so uh, just uh, hey, this is the file tab click on the file tab and here are the multiple options if you wanted to open a new project or, uh, or load your project into your computer or if you wanted to save your project for future use so i'm go with the new tab uh, uh, so click on that and this is our new project will be open now uh, let's learn saving a project so you can have a project at any time follow the given step to save a project you can save a project at any time even while working or to save your project follow the given steps or uh, some steps simply click on the file tab and then select a save to your computer option 
and the save dialog box will be appear i'm click on that and this the, the save dialog box will be appear open the location where you wanted to save i'll go with the desktop uh, and then project and write here a project name or a file name i'll uh, give the program i'll uh, give the name of the program and then go with the a save option click on a save see our project is all automatically save or if you wanted to open a, a exist or a previous program so just agar aap logo ke program apna future existing program old program open karna hai in your scratch project just go with the file tab and then a uh, load from your computer select the load from your computer if you wanted to open your old program or your old project so just go with the file tab and click on the load from your computer and the open dialog box will be appear browse the location of your project and select the name Uh, simply browse the location i am uh, because i am saving my project on the desktop so just uh, go with the desktop location and this is my program just click on that and then click open button to the open project if so see my project is open now i uh, now i if i wanted to exit exit the scratch or close the scratch so just click on the close button so this is our close button now click on that 